Hey, hello, I'm Julie Jo. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. And if you're not new here, welcome back. You know what to do if you've been here before. You can do the youtube -y things, liking, subscribing. If you like channels focused on breaking down manipulation from cults, multi-level marketing companies, scams, things of that nature. And if you're subscribed, you can hit the bell button and get notified when I post or when I go live. You can even become a member of a channel. There are five different levels. It starts off at a dollar a month. And that's just if you want a little extra stuff and to support the channel a little extra, totally up to you. Today, we're going to be talking about something that has been on my mind for quite a while. Today, we're going to be talking about someone who's gotten their, I guess, spotlight fame, which isn't even really fame of any kind just who's gotten all their 96,000 followers on TikTok from misinformation about parasites and deworming. This person is also a part of Touchstone Essentials, which I've talked about before. I've done a video before on them with her included in it. And today we're going to focus on her. So let's get started. I don't care about you and him. I don't care about what has been. I only care about your soft skin. Cause we're still sleeping in my head. I don't care about you and him. I don't care about what has been. I only care about your soft skin. There's something that has become popular in the United States that many people can't stop talking about, whether good or bad, and that is deworming. Let's be clear, deworming for those who have worms or parasites is not bad. But fear-mongering others to think they have those and then deworming without having them is bad. Danica Walker is an expert fear-monger while lacking in the most basic of logic. Not only does she spend her time spreading horrific misinformation that could seriously hurt people, she makes money doing so. Yeah, it's her job. That's how she makes money. I have a recent video, like I mentioned before, on her in the MLM that she's in called Touchstone Essential. In that video, I dive a little more into her telegram, Touchstone Essential itself, and the horrors of all that, because it's a mess. But in this video, we're going to talk about the phenomenon of deworming in the United States, why it's wild to do it, and why you shouldn't be doing it unless noted by your doctor. Oh. And that no one should ever listen to Danica Walker or anyone like her. Unlike her, I'll be using actual solid resources and we'll be putting them below so you can go click on them yourself and read through them. I want to start really quick by introducing you to Danica Walker or if you have seen her before, I'm sorry, reintroducing you. Uh, she is on TikTok as Danica.revamped. She did not have 96.4 thousand followers a while ago. And she's always said not medical advice. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Just because you have not medical advice in your bio, that means nothing when you're spreading the information that she's spreading. Let's look at it a little bit. I am going to be showing you a video of her that's titled Signs You Have Worms. If two plus two is four, right? And five plus five is 10. Okay. What the fuck is this? So it's talking about signs that you have worms, never feel full after eating, anxiety, depression, fatigue. And then there's a list of signs you may have parasites and it's brain fog, weak memory, anxiety, depression, fatigue, stomach problems, infections, headaches, weight issues, unexpected gut issues, sleep problems, anemia diagnosis, never satisfied after meals or unexplained skin irritation. I feel like what they did was people like her who fear monger got a bunch of different symptoms of random things that a lot of people experience and just threw it on a Canva post. So you're telling me if you don't feel full after you eat, right? If you have problems not feeling full after you eat, you could have parasites or you could not be eating enough or you could have other issues that you should talk to your doctor about. Depression, anxiety, anything like that, parasites. Or could it be that I lived in the United States in 2023 and that I've experienced multiple historical events in my life or that I've been through trauma or so on and so forth? Couldn't be any of that, right? Couldn't be that the world is crumbling around us in the United States in 2023. No, no, it's gotta be parasites. Could it be infections? Couldn't be, right? That it's an infection, that's it. That it couldn't be that it's just a random infection from something else, it has to be a parasite. Headaches, mm, couldn't be from not enough sleep, so on and so forth. Weight issues, I mean, I could go for every single one of these. 
but honestly, let's be real, it's just BS and it's dangerous because as someone who has mental health issues, if I was someone who just didn't know much about medical anything and didn't look into things and trusted people easily, I would go, oh my gosh, anxiety and depression? I have that. Maybe I have a parasite. Nah, babe, you don't. Okay, you don't have a parasite. And I will soon be talking about why you don't have a parasite. Okay, so here's another one that's titled Parasite Cleanse Warning. You should never start a parasite cleanse or any type of cleanse without a binder and making sure your detox pathways are open. So something about her is she sells the binder that you all need for your parasite cleanse. So she's going to fear monger you and make you nervous to where you need a parasite cleanse. But wait, you need to have a binder. But don't worry, I have one for you. And she makes money. Boom, bam, done. Here it, here it is. It, it's called Parasites in Your Kids. The amount of parasites that came out of my two-year-old. This is the stuff that comes out of you when you do a cleanse. I just had a lady message me. Her son passed something that literally looks like this. It's behind my head. It came out in the toilet. It has a giant head and a tail. I actually think it might have been a liver fluke with that head and tail in its life cycle. This is the crazy part. His speech also improved at the same time he passed this work. Heavy metals are linked to parasitic infections as well as developmental delays in children. Once parents start taking the metals out of the body, these are the kinds of things they see. And if you want to see the picture, it's in my detox group. Okay, so we're going to watch the next one, which has that first section in it as well, but she's actually going to show us a picture of what these eggs look like, and then we're going to talk about it. The amount of parasites that came out of my two-year-old. This mom just messaged me her kids releasing egg sacs. It is day five of the detox. Parasites use heavy metals to create a biofilm around them to hide from our immune system. So a lot of the times when you see people detoxing, they'll release mucus first, which is the biofilm, and I have pictures of that, and then they'll start passing the worms, the liver flukes, and egg sap. If you want to see all of the unbelievable things that are coming out of people and their kids, just check out my page. Okay, so let's talk about parasite eggs. Did I ever think in my whole life that I'd be sitting here on a YouTube video talking about a parasite egg? No. But here we are. So, you know, I did what any person with a sense of logic and knowledge would do, and that's Google. <laughs> so I Googled, like, what are the sizes of parasite eggs, right? And the answer is actually kind of simple. I Googled sizes of parasite eggs, right? And what I saw is they range from 30 to 100 micrometers. Micrometers. You heard that right. So... A micrometer is also commonly known as a micron. It is one times 10 to the negative six. That's one, I can't, I can't. That's one millionth of a meter. Let's talk about things that are also the size of that micrometer range. A cell of the human body. What was that? One cell of the human body. Uh, what's too big? What's too large to be a parasite egg? A piece of hair, your hair, one little twinge of hair. So you tell me when you look at that napkin and you see those little yellow things, are those parasite eggs? I'm not a doctor, but simple sources tell me that that's not it, that that's not a parasite egg. And you know what? I kind of believe that it's not. I'm not going to go too deep into her TikTok. That's pretty much all I'm going to show. You can go look at it yourself if you want. We've talked about this before. If you're on TikTok, you've likely seen videos about parasites and stuff before. You've also likely seen doctors say, don't do it. So let's talk about why you shouldn't do it. I'm going to show you a video of a doctor from Charlotte, North Carolina, and this is their news station, I guess. So let's watch. I'm not going to show you all of it, but I will have the source linked below. Question, do healthy Americans need to take deworming medicine? Let's verify. Our sources, physician Dr. Carla Robinson and the CDC. According to the CDC, some parasites and species that you see listed here are some of the most common infections among refugees. But what about Americans? Other claims that we're seeing are talking about these other worms that can really cause uh, severe um, uh, issues. We just don't have that here in this country. It's not really an, an issue that 
most people need to be concerned about. According to the CDC, pinworms are the most common worm infection in the United States and cause itching around the buttocks, but mainly infect children. It's a very, very, very uncommon thing to have intestinal parasites. Again, pinworms, that's something that's relatively common, so to speak, especially in the pediatric population, our youngest um, kids who may not be as judicious about, you know, where they put their fingers or washing their hands. Using these over-the-counter products or things that you may find on the internet, while they may offer a cleanse, so to speak, it's not necessarily ridding the body of the infection. It's not killing the uh, parasites or the eggs. Dr. Robinson also says prescriptions from a doctor would work best because they actually kill the worms. It's best to make sure you are using a treatment that has been recommended by a health care provider. Uh, certainly, we know there are many things you can purchase online, through the internet, that just aren't regulated. So we can verify that, no, healthy Americans do not need to take deworming medicine. Okay, you heard it here, folks. You don't need to take it. But if you don't believe me, let's look a little more into it. This is from mic.com slash live slash parasite cleanse TikTok. Specifically about TikTok because that's where it's huge right now. It says, please don't attempt TikTok's parasite cleanse. These cursed tutorials want to teach us to flush critters out in our poop. It's by Melissa Pandica. I don't know if I said her last name right, but you can see it below and it's written on October 26 of 2021 because yes, that's that's around the time it started, maybe a little earlier in 2021. So it says a squeamish trend has taken hold of a wellness TikTok in recent months, the parasite cleanse. In these depths of this particular wormhole, TikTokers document their experience taking papaya seeds or supplements like Paragard or Paravide to expel the parasites that have supposedly taken up residence in their intestines. At the end of their regimen, they present evidence of a successful cleanse in the form of a vivid description or even photo of what they claim to be critters in their poop. Most of us have parasites living inside us and we don't even know it says someone who's on TikTok. It, it'll say in the thing, I don't really care about saying their name, and I don't know how to say that anyway. In a TikTok documenting day one of his cleanse, other TikTokers list a plethora of symptoms, constipation, dark under eye circles, teeth grinding, depression, fatigue, and so on. Natalie something said her anxiety dropped 10 times after passing a tapeworm. All of this makes intestinal parasites seem not only worrisome, but also super common. I mean, who hasn't had constipation or anxiety, right? Y'all, this is like what I was saying earlier. A lot of people have a lot of these symptoms they are saying. It's going to make people nervous and scared that they might have one. So continuing reading, could parasites actually be the culprit behind much of what ails us? It goes on, but amid all the testimonials about the tapeworms and liver flukes TikTokers have pooped out, I'm catching a strong whiff of wellness BS. The parasite cleanse trend seems to fall under a large fixation with detoxing or clearing our bodies of impurities to improve our health, which isn't actually a thing. Sure enough, according to, I'm not going to say their name, Kava Hijifafalane, Lian. I said I wasn't going to say their name and then I said it. I'm so sorry that I butchered that name. An assistant professor and director of advanced endoscopy at Rutgers, New Jersey Medical School. You most likely don't need to do parasite cleanse. And here's why. First of all, internal parasites aren't as widespread as some TikTokers claim. While Haji, I'm just going to say that because I don't want to keep butchering it, tells me that microscopic single celled parasites called helminthes. I don't know, this is my best guess, have a higher prevalence, more than 50%, in certain populations in the U.S., like those who don't have access to good sanitation, the larger tapeworms and other parasites TikTokers report purging occur way less frequently. He estimates that they're found in around one in every 10 people in higher risk groups and only about one in 100 in general population. In fact, even if a doctor suspe suspects that a patient with symptoms might have these large parasites, once they actually check, they usually don't find any. In other words, if you're not part of a high risk group, don't spend time in places teeming with parasites, or engage in activities like eating food that hasn't been inspected for parasites, you probably don't carry the large worms TikTokers describe. While it's not unheard of for those who fall into this category to become infected with them, Haji says it's not common by any stretch of the imagination. Even if you do belong to high-risk group, evidence that the cleanses on TikTok can rid your body of parasites remains scant. 
Haji says people have become gravitated to papaya seeds because of a 2007 study of 60 children in Nigeria, a population that's highly affected and at risk for these parasites. Randomly assigned to take dried papaya seeds and honey or honey alone. After a week, the rate at which those who'd taken dried papaya seeds and honey cleared their stool of parasites was much higher than those who'd taken honey on its own. But the study has some limitations. For instance, since none of these kids showed signs of infection, since it's possible to harbor parasites without any symptoms, Haji says we can't yet conclude whether papaya seeds actually provide relief in people who do have symptoms. And with just one small study, you basically don't know if what you're seeing is a real effect or not. He adds, while a 2014 study suggests that papaya seeds could remove parasites from goats, their biology differs enough from ours that it's hard to say papaya seeds could do the same for us. Not only might parasite cleanses supplements contain heavy metals or other extremely sus contents, the expected benefit to you is, if not zero, very, very close to zero. Until researchers replicate the findings in larger human studies, we just don't have strong enough evidence to recommend taking papaya seeds for parasites. Okay, and it's not like just the papaya seeds, it's like the paragard and all of that stuff. And it's saying not only might these parasite cleanse supplements contain heavy metals, which by the way is one of the things that Danica Walker says is one of the things that causes parasites. Girl, no, parasites cause parasites. All right? Simple enough. And it's funny that she's telling people to do par parasite cleanses because this doctor is saying it actually might have heavy metals in those cleanses. How the turntables, am I right? That said, if you happen to enjoy papaya seeds and you eat only a few at a time, they probably won't harm you. Haji says, eating too much could cause digestive issues though. The claims about so-called parasite cleansing supplements are even more dubious since the FDA doesn't regulate supplements. They don't need to meet the same requirement for safety and effectiveness that drugs do. So not only might parasite cleansing cause supplements contain heavy metals or other extremely sus contaminants, Haji says the expected benefit to you is, if not zero, very, very close to zero, which I just read that above. It was like in their quoted section. Okay, but what about the uh, photographic evidence some TikTokers post of parasites these remedies eliminate from their bodies? The thing is, if you haven't been trained to examine a stool, trying to assess it for parasites is a little like a Rorschach test. What's a what's what's a Rorschach test? Oh, <laughs> it's an ink blot test. <laughs> Julie Joe. Okay, it's the ink blot test. It's like a little bit like an ink blot test. Haji says what might pass for a parasite could just be food or mucus. That's why doctors sometimes confirm the presence of parasites through non-visual methods like DNA sequencing or testing for antibodies the immune system makes against them. Although it's highly unlikely if you think you have parasites, Haji suggests talking to your doctor instead of trying TikTok remedies. Symptoms of a parasite infection, if you have them, can include anemia, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, blood in your stool, rashes, and itching. The symptoms TikTokers describe, like anxiety and teeth grinding, can indicate many other conditions that are more plausible than a parasite infection, Haji said. For example, while teeth grinding can be symptoms of a small parasite more common in children, he estimates that not even one out of 100 people who grind their teeth have it. That's one of the problems with these health trends, Haji says. Usually people advertise symptoms that are very common so that a larger number of the audience feels like they might be affected which is what I said earlier, go for me. In the rare case that you test positive, your doctor will prescribe you potential antimicrobials, not papaya seeds or supplements. The parasite cleanse trend is a classic case of wellness industry creating a problem in order to sell us a solution. It comes at no surprise, for example, that Natalie Claire Healings, whatever TikTok, closes with a pitch for her parasite detox. Chances are you won't benefit from buying into the hype but the supplement manufacturers certainly will. So fun fact about me, I actually have had parasites before. Oh, who would have thought me coming in here saying you probably don't have them when I've had them. Let's talk about why really quick before we move on. Why did I, me, a US gal, get parasites? 
because I was in Honduras for a week and I didn't take the proper precautions that I should have. I ate the food and drank the drink of places and people that I shouldn't have. And from those things, I got parasites. I was sick, nauseous. I would not say depressed or anxious. I was sick. I was having diarrhea. I was having intense stomach pain. I could not eat. I, I tried papaya for a while. Eh. Went to the doctor, got the medication that I needed from the doctor. And then they went away. So, as someone who's had them before, you probably don't. Talk to your doctor. This is from consumerreports.org. It says, is parasite cleansing a waste of money? Yes, parasite cleanses are worthless. You're almost literally flushing your money down the toilet. That's <laughs> the first sentence in it. For a long time, there have been people selling products with various health claims designed to separate people from their money, says Thomas Moore, MD, an infectious disease expert and clinical professor at the University of Kansas School of Medicine, Wichita. Parasite cleanses are the latest incarnation of pseudoscientific health trend that sells the idea there are toxins in your body that need to be purged. In fact, what they're really doing is preying upon the gullible. Manufacturers of parasite cleanse products will tell you that most people have parasites in their intestines and don't even know it. They make parasites seem common and the culprit behind much of what ails us. The supplements they sell, which are often made of some mix of papaya seeds, wal walnut hulls, cloves, and wormwood, claim to kill off parasites in your intestines and expel them in your poop, where you can sometimes find their carcasses if you dare peek in the toilet. These homeopathic or naturopathic treatments are based on pseudoscience, Moore says. If you really have a parasite, getting it diagnosed is the most important thing to do because there are very effective treatments. There's little to no scientific data to support that these concoctions fight off infection. A 2007 study of the 60 children in Nigeria, which we talked about earlier, in that last one that that Dr. Kaji brought up, this doctor, Thomas something more, says it suggests that eating dried papaya seeds might help clear parasites in the stool, but the small study doesn't actually prove that papaya seeds eased symptoms because none of these kids had any. Many, and it says in parentheses, many people with worms do not have any symptoms of an infection. And about the so-called photographic evidence that people post online, by the way, they say in parentheses, do yourself a favor and don't look it up. As someone who has, I, I don't recommend. What might appear like a worm could just be undigested bits of kale. That long spindly thing in your stool can certainly look like a tapeworm if you don't know what you're looking for, Moore says, when in fact, it's just a string of vegetable matter. Dr. Moore continues with the question, are parasite cleanses safe? Aside from the fact that home remedies have been shown to work against parasites, could taking these supplements hurt? He says, Dr. Moore says, these supplements are really modern snake oil. It might not be harmful to take these supplements if they were pure and consumed in small doses and safely made, says Akinseti a medical doctor that's an infectious disease clinician at Health Partners Medical Group in Minnesota. But they, like all supplements, aren't regulated by the FDA the same way that pharmaceuticals are. So their contents vary from place to place and there might be harmful ingredients in them. At best, herbal supplements could have some benefits, but they can also be infective or worse, contaminated with microbes or heavy metals, or intentionally spiked with illegal or prescription drugs. They can also cause harmful side effects and interact with prescription medications. It says, Akinseti says, these supplements and cleanses are also laxatives. They cause diarrhea and, if taken in sufficient enough quantities, can actually change the microbiome of the gastrointestinal tract, which is what we are trying to prevent in the first place. The next question, and the last question of this section is, do you even need to worry about parasites? Dr. Akinseti says, Americans generally don't need to be concerned about parasites as they are very rare in this country due to good sanitation, treated water supplies, and close monitoring of food products by the government or other agencies who make 
it's safe for human consumption. They are widespread at the global level, but not in the United States or other developed countries. So among the last three things that we've seen, the last three resources that I went over, they kind of all have a trend of the symptoms that they're saying are things that are very widespread and just make you think that you might have parasites when you very, very likely don't, especially if you're not a small child living very dirty conditions. And the people that are talking about it are normally selling it and making money from it. And the fact that heavy metals, as Danica Walker has said, that detoxing from heavy metals can help you from get not have parasites or whatever she said, are actually possibly in the products that you use to get rid of the parasites that are not from the doctor. What have we learned? One, you very, very, very likely don't have parasites. And if you think you do, you need to talk to your doctor. Two, Danica Walker is someone who should not be taken seriously and has zero logic on anything and does not know what she's talking about. Three, Julie Jo obviously doesn't like Danica Walker. <laughs> I feel like I've gone a little hard on her, but I mean, it's just so disgusting to watch her gain all of these followers and have one of her recent videos have a million views. I just, I'm so grossed out by this and the fact that she is actually hurting people. And number four, all of these products that are supplements and even products that aren't, unless it is really looked into by the FDA, regulated, and a doctor can prescribe it, probably isn't that beneficial. It's really that simple. And it's not super hard to look into this. I am just extremely tired of people fear-mongering people like Danica Walker using her TikTok to fear-monger people into buying products that actually will probably not benefit them in any way and can very possibly hurt them. What she doesn't understand is, other than basic logic, Julie Jo, we get it, you don't like her, okay? Okay, I'm getting over it. Is that her actions can and likely will hurt people. They will hurt people. And we've also learned pretty much that these are all just laxatives. So that's great. Love that for you. If you're having a blast with your laxative, go for it. But stop telling other people they need to take it when they don't. And just a little uh, heads up, a little hey uh, disclaimer, if you have any symptoms of the stuff that we've talked about from the actual doctors, maybe go to your doctor. Do not listen to someone who literally in their bio has the words not medical advice and then detox info go to danicawalker.org. Probably not your best bet. But anyway, that's enough of me ranting about this ridiculous, harmful, parasite, deworming, heavy metal toxins, whatever. Just don't do it. And shout out to the people in the medical field who are doctors, nurses, anyone in the medical field who is fighting actively against this ridiculous, disgusting misinformation. It's not okay. It's not. And Kudos to them because it is huge on TikTok, has been huge, and they're fighting a wave of people who are making money off of you being afraid that you have parasites. I want to hear your thoughts on parasites. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that on this channel, to be honest. Uh, and thoughts on deworming. And what are your thoughts over this entire situation? Danica needs to stop what she's doing. And I have a feeling this isn't the last video with her in it. So be prepared for that for the future. Thank you so much. I would love to hear your comments below. Have a, having a discussion about this in the comments I think is really huge. Continuing the discussion and not just saying, okay, I'm done with this kind of thing is huge too. We need to continue it and move it onto TikTok more and talk more about it on TikTok because that's really where it has blown up. Thank you for being here and MLMs are predatory and disgusting. This is a great example. I hope you have the most amazing morning, afternoon, evening, and night, wherever you are in this world and whenever you're watching. I'll see you next time. Don't deworm yourself. All right. All right. Bye. Show you what I'm all about. Make up for what we lost. Tonight is the night that we're gonna fall in love. I don't care about you and him. I don't care about what has been. I only care about yours.